Hello, my name is Atif Ahmed and I am from Group 125. I will be explaining to you in this video how I built this pergola for Fremont Leaf, which is a nonprofit organization that focuses on gardening. So here are the materials I used to build this pergola. I used 10 4 by 4 by 8 green dug fir wood. These will be used for the legs, the top frame, and for the knee braces, which I'll go over later. Then we're going to need two four by eight redwood lattice panels. These will be used as the roof of the pergola. Then we're going to need three two by four by eight green dug fir wood. These will be used to support the lattice, which is on top. Then we're going to need four lynx trifit brackets. These will be used to connect the posts and the top frame together. So they come in packs of two, so two packs of two gets you four total. Then, since the wood that I will be using is green dug fir wood, it means that it's not pressure treated, so we will have to treat it with stain to ensure that it does not rot when it's outside. Then we're going to need at least 50 one and a half wood screw. The type of screw doesn't matter just as long as it is an exterior wood screw and it does come in packs, so you'll probably have extra. You're gonna need 32 four inch screws. These screws will be used for the knee brackets to connect them to the post. We can't use the one and a half inch here because it'll be too short since we are going to have to drill diagonally through the wood, which I will explain later in the video. In my pergola, I decided to screw all holes of the Lynx Trifit brackets. However, you do not have to screw all holes of the Lynx Trifit bracket onto the wood. However, in my project, I will be doing that, which is why I'll require uh, 30 screws. Do note that some of the Trifit brackets have screws packaged with them, but they don't have all the screws required to complete all the holes. Then we have two inch by one and a half inch by one three eighth inch angle bracket. These will be used to, to attach the two by four by eight onto the top frame. Then to stain the wood, we're going to need a paint kit. So paint rollers, paint roller brush, paint brush, and the paint tray. The paint, make sure the paint roller isn't too large. I'd recommend somewhere around five inches. Make sure the paintbrush is two inches, and I'll explain later why. So we also need sandpaper to make sure that the wood we're handling is smooth. And lastly, since we worked in the Fremont Leaf, which is a garden, we worked on dirt. And to ensure that we don't damage the soil, we painted on these paper tarps. Uh, 35 inches by 144 feet should be more than sufficient. Now I'm going to be going over how to prepare the wood. So the pergola I am going to be making is eight feet by eight feet by eight feet. To ensure that the top two by four by eight is flush against the top frame, we're going to have to cut the two by four by eight inches because four inches are being subtracted on each side. This way, the two by four by eight won't be too large and it'll be flush against the frame. Make sure to do this for all three two by fours. So the Lynx Trifit brackets actually add 3.75 inches each. So two Lynx Trifit brackets add 7.5 inches to the total length. To ensure that the top frame is eight feet by eight feet, we're gonna cut the wood by 7.5 inches and this is also important so that the two by four can be flush as well. So the new wood will be four by four by seven feet, 4.5 inches. Now I'm going to be going over how to prepare the knee braces. So these knee braces will be used to make the pergola legs rigid. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just cut 45 degrees off the end of the wood along this black line as shown over here. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to measure 24 inches off the bottom side as shown over here. You're going to measure 24 inches. Then you're going to use the saw to cut 45 degrees upward, like along this black line as shown. And then you should get like a trapezoid shape. This is going to be your knee brace. Make sure to do that until you have all eight knee braces. Uh, I'd recommend using a 12 inch miter saw because that's what I used in order to cut the diagonal of this wood. Say that. Then paint the wood with stain using a paint roller. Make sure that all of the wood is covered with one coat of stain. Uh, the, paint, the stain that I used is single coat, so I only needed to apply one coat of stain onto the wood. When painting the lattice, make sure that you get all layers. As you, like you can see, the paint roller doesn't reach the bottom layers, so use a paintbrush to stain the bottom layers on the lattice. Once the beams are dry, attach them to the Lynx tri-fit brackets as shown over here. Make sure to measure to see if the side length is 8 feet. This is to ensure that the wood is all the way inside the link strifit bracket. Then start screwing the outermost hole on each bracket as shown over here. Once the outer screws have been screwed, make sure to start drilling the rest of the holes in the link strifit bracket. Make sure to do this for all four brackets on all sides. Now we are going to be attaching the 2x4s onto the top frame. The 2x4s should be spaced 2 feet apart from each other and 2 feet away from the 4x4 on the frame. So start by measuring 2 feet away from the 4x4 frame and then drill the angle bracket onto the other 4x4 as shown. Make sure to use the one and a half inch screws for this one but make sure first to drill pilot holes and then actually screw it in. Once the angle bracket is attached to the 4x4x8, four by four by you're now going to attach the 2x4 onto the angle bracket as shown. So align the 2x4 with the angle bracket, then drill pilot holes, and then screw it using the 1.5 inch screws. Make sure to repeat this for all three 2x4x8s. Now we're going to be attaching the lattice onto the top, the 2x4s, and on the 4x4 four four frame. Here's how it should look at the end. To screw the lattice onto the top, first take a measuring tape and extend it all the way to the other side. Then drill a screw on both sides of the measuring tape as shown. Then as you go down, make sure you're screwing the top of the lattice and make sure the screws are evenly spaced apart. Once you've screwed all the screws to evenly spaced apart on the 2x4, you're going to do the same thing as you did in the beginning. Screw a screw on both sides of the measuring tape.
to screw the middle lattice, you're going to do the same as you did for the left and right lattice. All except this time, you're going to be screwing both lattices onto the same 2x4. Uh, make sure to start off with screwing one screw onto the 4x4 frame. And then just keep on going evenly spaced out until you reach the other side. And then screw the other screw onto the 4x4. This is how it should look like from a bottom view. So now you have the top frame and you need to attach the posts. So the Lynx TriFit brackets come with an instruction manual on how to effectively lift up the pergola and attach the posts. So first, tilt the pergola frame at an angle and attach the top, two top posts. Do not screw any of these posts in yet. Then, what, then you're going to lift up the top frame from the other side, ideally on ladders, so that you can reach the height. And then, such that the pergola is standing on the two legs. Then you're going to tilt the pergola onto the two legs to the other side, and insert the, top, the two other posts underneath the corner bracket. Once all four posts are done, make sure to keep on holding it and use the Lynx TriFit screws to screw in all four corner brackets on all the holes. We're now going to be preparing the knee braces. These will be used to make sure that the pergola legs are rigid. First take the speed square and mark 4 inches off the bottom of the slant. Then mark it and take the speed square and draw a perpendicular line uh, on the top side of the wood until it reaches the slanted side. On the slanted side, take that perpendicular line and extend it across the slanted surface. And then mark 1.5 inches on both sides of the wood as shown over here. This is where we will be drilling the holes uh, at a 45 degree angle so that it can connect to the posts. Make sure to drill from a 45 degree angle and make sure to drill all the way through. Once you have done both holes, make sure to do this for the other side and do the same for the other knee braces. Now we are going to be attaching the knee brace to the pergola. So something to help with alignment is if we take the flat piece of wood and three clamps, one clamp to clamp the flat piece of wood to the top frame, the other one to clamp the flat wood to the leg, and a third clamp to clamp the knee brace to the flat piece of wood. Make sure all three clamps are tight, and this will help with making sure that the knee brace is aligned and flush. Then take the 4 inch screw and screw the knee brace to the post. Make sure to do this for all 4 holes and make sure to do this for all other knee braces. Once you have attached all the knee braces, the pergola should be done. Congratulations, you have finished building your pergola and thank you for watching this video.